guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm trying another new brand and I'm excited about it so I've seen this brand I've dabbled in looking at this brand for a while and I was just like oh I don't need to keep buying makeup like I need to hold off and then uh Labor Day was here and they were having a sale and I was like dang that's almost like ten dollars off the palette so i was like i had a big cart and then i was like okay let's rein it in a little bit like let's not be so extra so i bought three palettes and i tried to do a variation in the palettes that i purchased so i finally purchased from clarity cosmetics and i am so excited so excited so the first palette oh this is so pretty i bought the croc palette so i'm going to show you i'm just not sure which one i'm going to use well i kind of do know which one i'm going to use anyway but i'm going to show you all the ones i purchased so here's the croc palette look at that look at those greens this one on my viewfinder looks a lot brighter it looks more grass green it's not it's a it's a deeper green oh, but look at these these shimmers and like how they're in here you see how swirled they are i don't know if because this is like handmade like hand poured i'm assuming i don't know they're just so pretty i'm so excited so i got the croc palette and then i got the evil mermaid palette um oh, the blues the blues are what got me like i was like okay i really want to try those blues this color came damaged I did try be, I did try to repress it and it just oh yeah that looks really funky like it's turning yellow so I tried to re repress it I just got it today so this is like the same day and I was like oh what is happening so I contact them typically it says on their page that they'll send you like that replacement shadow because it is a magnetic um you know pan or whatever so i'm hoping that they'll just replace that one shadow so got that one i'm super excited and then this one so like i said i had five or six palettes in my cart and i was like we gotta we gotta trim this down because some of them had like similar colors and then last but not least i got the so amazing look how big these pans are and look how beautiful these colors are i hope with me moving them around you can see the amount of shimmer and this don't be shellfish color this yellow i don't know what it is with me in this yellow but that's just putting my hand in there and not being crazy like i just kind of swirled it around let me spread it out a little bit. Look how gorgeous that color is. I'm just trying to move my hand any which way you can see it. Oh, is that not gorgeous? So, thinking I'm going to use this palette today because I'm just so excited about it. And I really, really hope these colors look like this on the eye. So, anyway, super excited to try this. Um, yeah. So if you want to see what I do with this palette, then just keep watching. Okay, so I got you guys all zoomed in. Oh, I'm so excited about this. They had quite a few palettes. I wanted to try the Bloom palette. There was another one with like greens. I wanted to try that one, and then I wanted to try the Bridal Party palette, but that one was sold out. So I'm like, well, let me try these. These look super exciting. But these pans are huge. I really do like that. And I'm so excited I got this on sale. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. So I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go for it. Let's see. I have not cleaned my brushes in a while. I used on my face today, I used my Salt New York products um if you want to see how those do i have a video a little ways back you can go check it out i'm gonna go in with this one here it's fantastic and i'm going to place that in here 
So these are pressed pigments, pretty sure. Yep, pressed pigment palette. So this color looks just as I would expect. Let me blend it out a little bit. Like I was stippling it on because I feel like with pastels when I'm putting them on, it just goes better. It's really light. I don't know why I look so... I kind of look like I have an orangey hue. I don't know if it's the... salt products I used. That is pretty. It's definitely yellow. Um, I have not really noticed any colors look making my skin look so crepey right there. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see it. I think I can see it on my end, but I'm just going to keep rolling with it and see what happens. I think I'm going to go in with this color. Long time no see. They're soft. Just be careful. I'm gonna go right along here. It's a pretty peachy color. It's going over top of that yellow. Pretty nice, it's not making it all like mucky looking. Bring this one down on the lid just a little bit. All right, so enough of that. I want to see what these these shimmers look like. Let's see. Let's see. So I was super excited. So you know, I went out shopping with my daughter the other day for her birthday, and we went to Nordstrom Rack, and I got a whole set of these moto brushes so it was like a whole bunch of detail brushes so it's like three like round tip ones three you know detail three flatter ones like this and then three like that super excited they were nine dollars 97 cents and i actually had a ten dollar nordstrom note so i basically got them for free so i was like yay for me <laughs> it's like that's super exciting um i'm gonna go in with this one so it's picking up like this on the brush, so I'm not sure this might be one that you had to put on. Let's see. Okay. I mean, I'm getting some payoff with, with the brush, but I think I'm just going to go in with my finger. There it is. Oh, so bright. like that and then I think look how pretty that is I really hope that's picking up on camera so you guys can see how gorgeous that color is it's absolutely gorgeous I'm gonna go ahead and get it wet with my morphe setting spray just picked it up on a brush because I just want to see what happens one I'd like it to stay on my eye I'm hoping it doesn't like transfer so what am I doing let's see Is it going to intensify it? Just press it down. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm coming up a bit. Right into there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is such a pretty color. It's so pretty. So I think what I'm going to do... Hmm... I think I'm going to go in because this, this color is next to this color. So I'm kind of like going down the line. So then I'm going to go in with this one. It's got, it's got a shift to it. Like it's orangey, pinky. So let's see what happens. I'm going to pick that up on this. I don't even know what that says. Filbert. It's a, 
It's that Moto brush. A big chunk of the shadows came out of the pan. I don't know if these two are going to be like too similar though is what I'm thinking. Mm. Because they both have like a lot of yellow and like gold so it might be they might be too similar to put on there together. I think so. I don't think that's going to look good. So we're going to abort Abort, abort. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this one here. <clears throat> and let's see. Call me on my shell phone. That's what it's called. I am so glad these colors made it through shipping. They're super soft, so they're coming up like super chunky. So let's see. I don't want that much. I'm just going to get it wet because I feel like it's just going to make a mess because I have so much on this brush. Let's see. Look, it's all on my eyelash. Just as long as it's not getting in my, um, in my eye. Oh, good Lord. Do you see... See how pretty that is? There was way too much on the brush. So when I swiped in there, just way too much was picked up. Let me see if I can gently pat that, but I think I want to go in with my finger. That way any excess can kind of come off on my finger so it's not going down into my eye. Because that is not going to be pleasant. <sighs> I am making a mess. And there's still a lot on my brush. There's still a lot in my eyelash. Alright, All right, let's clean let's clean this baby up. Let me get this wet. I'm not usually this messy. I'm just taking the tip of this and like dragging it out and it's actually doing a really nice job and now I'm going to tip my head back a little bit so I can press into that like that. I'm going to clean this brush off and I'm going to pick up a smidge more of that don't be shellfish color and I'm just going to go back over the middle where that prior color kind of took over. So be warned, <laughs> I've made a mess. So definitely um, just be careful with how heavy handed you're going in. You know me and my old ham hands, so you see what that has done. Um, so just, you know, beware, be cognizant of it. Uh, you should probably do your makeup last, like I always say. So I'm just going in with a little bit more of this peachy shade just up at the top and then I'm going to clean that off. Hope it cleans off and I'm going to go in with a little bit more of the yellow. Like that. Maybe to pull it together I'm going to go under with this color. You mermaid my day. I'm going to do that under the eye. I don't know. That's too fluffy. I need to um, stipple that on a bit more than rubbing it around. So I'm going to get a brush that's a bit smaller. Get a little more dense. It does kind of remind me of the Simply Posh palette. So I would definitely suggest doing your makeup lash just because then I could, you know, if I didn't have my face already done, I could go in and clean this up a bit, a bit better than what I'm doing right now because my makeup is done. So anywho, <clears throat> I'm going to pick up more of that Don't Be Shellfish on a small brush. This is the On Point brush. It's from, it's a Beauty Bay brush. Get wet. 
I'm going to go in here to the inner corner because I love a shimmery inner corner. Might bring it in a little bit too. I don't know. I feel like the bottom needs something. It looks kind of bland. <laughs> you know, having all that shimmer on the upper part of the eye. I'm going to pick up some of that color. Call me on my shell phone, the color out here. I'm going to spray it. I don't know, this might be a really bad idea. I'm going to come out a little bit more. So I got it wet and just brought it down. That does it a little bit better for me. It just was looking really bland, kind of plain. So I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm just getting it wet again. Ah, dropping things. Intensify it a little bit more out here. Not really sure what I'm going to do for a liner or any of that yet. So for right now, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to hop over to the other eye. So for the other eye, I think, I don't know. I just feel like it's going to be very fitting to go in with the other colors that are left. So I'm going to start with the pink. And the inner corner. color went on really nice. I just feel like those colors look really drying on my skin. I don't know. Maybe I haven't noticed that with other colors, other pastel colors. Uh, what's this say? I'll have a martini. Ooh, this green one. I pick that up. <clears throat> I'm so over this crusty throat. It's like an ongoing thing and the kids again are like Especially Oliver, he's super congested again. I'm like, geez louise, like just when I feel like we start to get better, it just gets worse again. It's annoying. Trying to up the vitamin C. Stay hydrated, I just, I don't know. I'm sure it's a combination of him picking up stuff at school and possibly me picking up stuff at poop job. I mean, I work <laughs> around a lot of sick people. But I also wear a mask, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go back in with a little bit of that pink. Because I feel like I took it over with that green right there. Mm, I'm going to go in with this AOA Studio E122 brush. I really like these brushes so far. And I'm pretty sure this brush was only like a dollar or something on that website. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with I Washed Up Like This. This pink shimmer down here. This one doesn't seem as soft. Hold on. I am getting some on the brush. It took a little bit, so let's see. <clears throat> now I'm going to pick some up. On the same brush, get it wet. Pick up a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to clean that brush off. It's pretty. It took a little bit to get to the intensity that I wanted it. But again, I don't know if that's the color, if it's just a little bit harder in the pan and then I'm gonna go in with Beach Please and this one's a little shifty like it looks green but then I move it and it looks a little pink so let's see so I'm not gonna lie like I don't know I don't know maybe it's just me because I haven't been purchasing a lot of the indie brands and things like that but I'm like dang some of these some of these palettes are getting expensive Okay, so like none of that picked up. I wonder if it's the brush. 
Like it picked up better on this motor brush. Maybe it's just the fibers in, in the brush. Oh, hmm. Interesting. Still not getting a whole lot, so I'm just picking it up with my finger. Ooh. That is very soft. <clears throat> But I think I went on like unearthly because I've seen a lot of stuff with them and I haven't tried them but I'm like damn I'm not really sure I got $72 to spend on one palette and I feel like the palette only had like a few colors in it I don't know maybe they're just maybe indie brands are getting bigger and bigger and becoming you know more in demand you know I don't know they're becoming more and more popular. I don't know if they've always been that expensive. I'm not really sure. But I'm like, geez, you up there with Natasha Denona. And you know, she came down on her palettes because Homegirl used to be real expensive. You remember those old palettes? The like, um, it was like a big blue one. They were just, I think they were just numbers too. They were like 200 some dollars. And I was like, there's no way. That's why I never purchased any of her stuff prior to... <clears throat> the star palette no what's it called hold on hold on yeah it was the star palette that was my first natasha denona and i mean look at all the shades in there and that was the first <clears throat> palette i purchased from her and even then i was like oh my gosh like i felt like i was spending an arm and a leg so now when i look at some of these indie brands that like i want to try out and i'm like man you got like six shades in that palette and it's like 70 some dollars i don't know i mean i understand they're trying to make a living but dang i don't know maybe it's just me this really does remind me a lot of the um simply posh palette this color is pretty it like shifts between that pink and the green so I think what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to go under the eye with that same You Mermaid My Day, that bluish color. I'm going to go under my eye with that, and I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other eye. Stipple that on, and then I'm going to pick up that same brush. I'm going to get the color on the edge of it, so I'm kind of like swiping it in the in the pan so the tips getting in there like I don't even know if you could see like how soft that is it's like pushing it like edge to edge not really getting much from it I might have to go in with something else might try to use this little brush instead get it wet and then dip in there I'm just gonna go all along the underneath that lower lash line with this color. And I'm gonna pick up the pink color. So there we go. Uh, I'm gonna leave it like that. And then I'm gonna hop off. I'm gonna go ahead and do some eyeliner, maybe some lashes, put on some lipstick, and I'll be right back. So here is the finished look. I went ahead and I put the Natasha Denona um, Macrotech Eye Crayon in Camu Camu. I did that in the lower waterline on this eye. And then on this eye, I used the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Insomniac. I love this. I don't know why. I just, I feel like I'm always doing that like pop of pink in that lower waterline. And then I went ahead and, you know what? I didn't put my mascara on. I was like, I'm forgetting something. Hold on. <clears throat> There we go. I hadn't put it on that lower, um, the lower lash line. So I just use this Tartlet mascara. Um, I just I have a hard time getting into those lower lashes. So you, I like these plasticky brushes better. But I think this mascara is drying out because it's kind of old. So 
Anyway, probably not the best option. Um, and then I went ahead and used my NYX Epic Wear waterproof uh, liner and just did a wing liner. And then I put on lashes out of this ColourPop. Um, it's faux eight piece faux mink lash kit. I don't even know if they still have that. I, I haven't looked for it lately because I bought two of them when they were on sale and I absolutely love them. These lashes are like, un, like just enough. I didn't want them to take away from the look, but I wanted them to add to my lashes. So it's like, oh, you got a little bit of a lash, but it's not overpowering the look at all. And then somebody must have given this to me. I'm assuming it must have been my sister. This is a Dominique um, Creamy Fill and Define Lip Liner. Uh, I don't see, oh, Crush. I think the color is Crush. It's just a nude. It's kind of weird because it's like, like a triangle tip, how you'd see like a eyebrow brush. But I mean, it went on nicely. I like it. And then I topped that off with this Rimmel London lipstick called Candy. And it just added a nice like sheen over top. So let me zoom you out. Okay, so <clears throat> um, let me see. Let me see. So this palette, there are two sizes. There is apparently a mini size, and it comes with like square pans. And oh, is this freezing? And it's forty-five dollars. And then this full size is forty-eight dollars. But like I said, I got it on sale because she was having a um. Labor Day sale. So I think I got, I think it was 20% off. I don't think it was 30% off. I think it was 20% off like site wide for that sale. So even if it was 48 times 20%, $9 minus nine. So is that $39 they got for like 38 something? I mean, they're very large pans. They're very nice colors. I really, really like this color and that's really why I wanted this palette. For some reason I was like, oh, I'm all about that yellow. Um, at first I did not like how these pastels were applying to the top of my eye. Like, I don't know if you can see just because it's so light and I can't remember if I had this issue when I applied some lighter colors from the Simply Posh palette, you know, because I used all those, you know, pastels up top. Now they're not as, you know, light as, as that yellow, but I don't know. I don't like it on me right now. Like, I'm like, ooh, my, <laughs> my eye looks crusty. But, you know, I just don't know if it's something I haven't noticed before. You know what I mean? My eyelid and, like, upper eye is obviously a bit textured. I mean, I get a lot of movement there. You know what I mean? Um, so I don't want to harp and moan on it too much because I don't necessarily think, like, it's anything that has bothered me before. It's just I noticed it today putting on that yellow and then into the peach. Like, it's not so bad, but I have some over here. So it might just be because that lighter yellow. Um, but while I have this palette out, so I was saying that... This palette reminded me some of the, kind of like the Simply Posh palette up here. I think just because of those similar like pink and green, you know, hues. There is no yellow in the Simply Posh, but we do have this lighter green. Um, and it doesn't have like the orange color in it. So they are, you know, in fact different. I think the Simply Posh palette was 45 as well but I think they had an issue with um the pressing of the color so then they discounted it so they might have some of those but there are some issues with some of the colors the shimmers in the middle being you know hard pan so anyway um I did have to work a little bit harder with this color and this pink color but again I don't know if that's just how they're pressed if it's you know what they're what they're made of I'm not really sure um I did get quite a bit of fallout. So, you know, that's something you need to be aware of. I don't recall getting that with this, but it's been so long since I did that video, so I can't really wholeheartedly be like, oh yeah, exactly, like that's that. And I say it in a lot of videos, especially when using, you know, colorful things, just do your makeup last. Because if you do your makeup last, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. And I mean, it's honestly not, like, I, 
I brushed away as much of the glitter as I could, but it's not like in your face. Now, I don't know. Well, I mean, it's quite a bit. I just have to shift my head and turn a little bit because then I can see like how much is really there. But looking straight ahead and looking straight ahead that way, I don't notice it as as much as somebody else might, somebody else might notice it walking up to me and be like, why do you have like glitter dumped under your eye but not over here? So that was a bit of a difference between those shades as well. I just had a lot of fallout with this one. It was super soft. So just be careful going in. I'm not saying this is a bad palette by any means. I really like it. Um, and look... That was not there earlier, so just since, you know, playing in this color and how I kept saying it's like super, super soft, it is emollient, and you can see whatever they use in there, it's starting now to seep into the palette itself. And I mean, I've seen that with other companies and whatnot. I mean, I can't wholeheartedly say I'm a fan of that, but is it going to bother the other colors? I don't think so. I don't think it's going to seep that much through there. I think it's just because of where I pushed it over the edge of the metal. Like it got into like the cardboard. That's so wild. Like it's spreading around. <laughs> That's so weird. So that might be something that you have to deal with as well. And I've seen that with a lot of the indie brands. And again, I don't know what they use to make to make their stuff because I don't make these things. I don't know. I just buy them and put them on my face. So as long as it doesn't ruin any other colors or anything else in there, it kind of is what it is. Um, let's not drop things. So I like it. It's nice and big. I love this color in here and I'm probably going to really gravitate towards using that yellow color. Like that is what drew me to the palette. That's why I ended up going with this palette over the other ones that I had in my cart. Because again, I wanted a variety and then that yellow color did it for me. I really, really like it. Everything seemed to apply nicely. The mattes went over top of each other nicely. They didn't make a mucky mess. I mean, over here between the green and the pink, it doesn't look like a mucky mess either. It didn't get like muddy and yucky. They just kind of went where I put them and they stayed there, which is really nice. Um, I did go up kind of high because you see I do have hooded eyes so I have to do that anyway with transfer because as you notice like watch you see how my eyes like fold over and then they go there that's just me so that's not a, a issue for me at all I just go up higher with those colors so anyway I really do I like the palette I do if you can catch it on sale or you know whatever I as always I always suggest you get things on sale um, but yeah, I'm super excited to use these other two palettes, this Evil Mermaid palette and this Croc palette, like, I'm really excited about those. And then we'll see after those two palettes, then maybe we'll see if I purchase any more from them. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you decide if you wanted to go browse around on Clarity Cosmetics. I don't get anything for it because again, I just, I purchase all this stuff myself. Nobody knows who I am. <laughs> so not like anybody said to me anything. But even if they did, I would still give you my honest opinion because I'm too honest for that. I am. I am. I just, I feel like you should know. So anyway. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or evening or whenever you're watching this.